Hey, Camp Pencil Pointers! This is Drew! It's almost springtime! Really, it is. Today, we're going to draw a confident bear lawyer based on your Instagram suggestions. So let's start drawing, okay? <clears throat> well, hello there. How do you do? This is Camp Pencil Point. And my name is Drew, so sharpen your pencils and we'll start the show. Because it's now time for harmonica intro. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, otters and dragons and octopi, my name is Joe Fu, and I am the director here at Camp Pencil Point. And I'm joined by my very good friend, Drew T. Drocopus, who gave us that lovely intro, Welcoming Spring. Or maybe not. But I'm also joined by all my good friends at home, the Camp Pencil Pointers at home, watching us on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by on this Monday evening. We're sure glad you're here. A few years ago, we started Camp Pencil Point as a safe and fun place for kids to go online to draw. We encourage kids of all ages, from the ages of 3 to 30 to 300, to sketch along with us. And we encourage parents to sketch along with their kids. Because creativity is always better when it's a shared experience. Speaking of sharing, sharing is caring. So we encourage you to share Camp Pencil Point with all your friends and family, keep the love of drawing alive and spread the word of good art. We also encourage you to subscribe to this channel. You can do that one of three ways. You can click on the button below above the description. There is also a button in the corner of this video and there is a bell icon on the top of this website. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll actually not only subscribe to our channel, but you'll also be notified every time we go live and every time we post a new video. So this is an Otter House video. We got a new graphic, I see. It's nice, I like it, huh? Anyway, this is an Otter House video, which, which means uh, we go back to basics. It's a little simpler of a, of a drawing, and this gives beginners a chance to start. It gives a starting point to beginners. But if you're an experienced illustrator, il experienced artist, it'll give you a chance to flex your muscles and play around with the drawing and make it your own and see how playful you can get and how far you can kind of push it beyond what it really is. So it's an opportunity to have fun. <clears throat> if you follow us on Instagram, you will know that Drew and I put out a call for suggestions. And we asked all our Instagram friends for suggestions on what to draw. And Drew, why don't you tell us all what you asked for in your Instagram post? Yeah, Foo. So on Instagram, we asked the Camp Pencil Pointers to give us a profession, a creature, and an emotion. That's right. So Drew asked for three things. A profession, a creature, and an emotion. So three things. And we got a huge list of suggestions from all our friends out there on Instagram. So I'm going to read some of our favorite ones. Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to read the first two. Our friend BHL and our friend Snow Sisters. Um, they suggested Drew doing a self-portrait of him drawing a self-portrait. Not a bad suggestion. And then Morgan, our friend Morgan, kind of followed up and said an art instructor, an octopus, and happy. So obviously, the, uh, they're talking about Drew. And Drew, I'm not going to, I'm just not in the mood to draw you today. You're, you're not getting, I'm not going to draw you. Oh, come on. Come on. Draw me. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyway, on with the list. Um, Lilo, our friend Lilo said, a chemist, a starfish, and frazzled. Very good words. 
Lulu said a skydiver, walrus, and feisty. Imagine seeing a feisty walrus skydiving on your house. Very scary. Uh, Sumsia, Sumsasia, sorry. Sumsasia said a bomb tech, a hamster, and a scared. A scared hamster bomb tech. Very, very fun. I might draw that at some point just for the heck of it. Our friend Jesse said a lawyer, a gecko, and enthusiastic. So an enthusiastic gecko lawyer. So I think I'm going to pick up lawyer actually for this sketch. Oh, well, our friend Low Carb Bun suggested again a unicorn pooping glitter. Once again, low carb bun, not this week. Speaking of poo, Julie, our friend Julie, who doesn't read instruction, just said Pooh Bear. <laughs> she just said Pooh Bear. I think she put a heart after it too. So thanks. Thank you, Julie. Summer suggested a chef, panda, and confident. Uh, Katie suggested a teacher, bear, and happy. And our own Josh uh, suggested a garbage collector, a bear, and angry. So there is a lot of bear suggestion so i'm actually gonna go through and go to katie's suggestion of a bear and we're gonna go to jesse's suggestion of a lawyer and then we'll go to summer's suggestion of confident so a confident bear lawyer and that will be our sketch for today and we're gonna build it out of simple shapes so let's go to luxo jr and where all my art supplies are and let's start drawing my confident bear lawyer Okay, guys, here we go. We are going to draw a confident lawyer bear, and we're going to build it out of simple shapes like always. We're going to use our sphere, and we're going to use our bean, which is basically, basically just a sphere that we punch in the side. We squish it. It's a little squished sphere, so imagine this as a three-dimensional shape, and we squish it in the side. This is what we get. So we're going to use these two shapes to build our confident lawyer bear. So I'm going to move my guys, first of all, and I'm going to be using uh, my paper mate mechanical pencil that has the thick lead, the Hulk today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a Copic marker. Let me flip it so you can read it the right way, a Copic black, and I'm going to use this side because it's kind of like a brush marker, and these are fairly easy to get. You can get them at an art store. And I'm going to use my, my chart pack marker, but you could use Crayola, you could use uh, Prismacolor, you could use whatever you'd like. So let's move the spheres and the beam, and we're going to start drawing basic shapes to begin with. Now, he's a competent bear, but bears have a big body. So I'm going to start out right away drawing my bean shape, which is just a sphere. It's punched in the side, right? We're gonna follow up with a circle on the top, a sphere, I should say, and two spheres at the bottom that I could eventually even kind of pull out into bean shapes if I want. But for now, I'm gonna keep them. There's a bean shape up there, and I'm gonna put a bean shape down there. And basically, my basic shapes are done. Let me throw, actually, throw another sphere right here, and then we're gonna throw two more spheres up here and I said before maybe we'll complete the bean shape so let's throw some beans down on these spheres all right and my bear is looking pretty pretty good to start with so let's start putting some detail in and I'm gonna add just a square like a triangular shape because he's a confident lawyer so he has to have a briefcase so I'm going to go right to my Copic marker, and we'll start finishing this bear. I'm going to start with a nose, very easily drawn with an upside down triangle. And because I have this sphere shape, I know exactly where to put his mouth. And he's confident, so he's smiling big. And I can follow the shape of that circle that sphere in making his the shape of his mouth 
Now we'll kind of do the bridge of the nose and the chin, still following that sphere that we put in already. And he is confident, so I'm going to give him some confident eyes. He has no worries and no cares in the world. Some brows along the top circle, and here we're going to finish this sphere and wrap it around. And on this side, wrap this sphere around, and we're going to kind of pop it up top above the brow, and we'll give him a little bit of hair. Just to give him a little bit of character. We have two spheres on top, and I'm going to give him some fuzzy ears. And the interior of the ears to make, uh, to give you an indication what these are, the ears. Now I'm going to deviate from the shape of the bean and extend to his shoulder on this side and extend to his shoulder on this side. I'm going to give him a little fur on his chest because he is a bear and he is a lawyer. So he should be wearing at least a sports coat. But you see, he's so confident that he's just wearing the sports coat. He's not wearing under anything underneath. So he's that confident that he's going with no shirt and no tie into court. I would like to think that you could say he's a bit bare-chested. Maybe he's a bit bare under his coat. You're a riot, Drew. So let's finish up this bear. I am going to draw, deviate from that shape a little bit to draw the side of his body. And let's finish some arms. And that is the sleeve. And let's throw another sleeve in there and it's slightly bothering me that he has no collar on his sports jacket so let's uh let's finish off the jacket and he is a confident bear so he's actually wearing a coat with five buttons that's how confident he is we'll finish off his paw on that side and we'll finish off a paw on this side. Bears are known for their claws so I'm just going to kind of indicate a claw. And he's very confident so the pinky is out. And of course he is drinking coffee. So there is a coffee mug. More claws. On his other paw, holding his briefcase. And we'll go to his legs. And I'm going to deviate from that bean shape a little bit. And actually, I'm going to deviate from these bean shapes a little bit, too. I'm going to go straight down and build a shape more like that. And I will do the same thing on this side. So like the letter D for his legs. And we'll throw his feet down. A little indication of the knees. Indication of the claws. Give him a little bare tail. Some pockets in that jacket. And I usually like to throw in a little bit of environment. So there is the ground that he is standing on. And there is a confident lawyer bear. Let's throw some gray into this really quickly in the background. And 
and I created this shape. I'm not sure if I love it. I'll see when I'm done how well he pops off that background. And he's looking pretty snazzy right there. We'll put a signature on the bottom. And for fun, let me throw some texture in the background. Now I'm just taking the same color and putting some dots in. They'll eventually kind of fade out to give you a very subtle texture. And I think I'm happy with him. So there he is. That is my confident lawyer bear. Here he is, guys. Our confident bear lawyer. Look at the confidence. He is oozing confidence. I'd like to see what you guys draw, whether it's a confident bear lawyer, just a confident bear, or just a bear. And if you're drawing a poo bear, please draw one for Julie. Just draw a poo bear for Julie. Whatever bear you draw, please take a picture of it, load it up to social media, and use this hashtag Camp Pencil Point. All the artists at Camp Pencil Point will keep an eye out for this hashtag, and if we find it, we'll like it and comment on it. Follow Drew and I on Instagram. Here are the Instagram handles. Follow us on Instagram for when there is a future call for suggestions when we do another video. And you can also just be updated on everything that we're doing at Camp Pencil Point by following us on Instagram. On that note, also subscribe to this channel. There are the three ways down there, over there, and up there. I'm not going to go over them again, but please, please subscribe to our channel. And if you do, come back here on Thursday and I will do an octopus house activity. No graphic? Oh, no graphic. I'll be doing an octopus house activity where I will explain why I do not like to draw eggs right i don't want to draw eggs so tune in thursday and hear me explain why i don't draw eggs so go forth young pencil pointer go forth and draw the bears with confidence draw all the bears with confidence and have fun doing so until next time as always Draw for at least 20 minutes every day, and this will keep your skills sharp, but your pencils dull. Support the arts and support your favorite artists by following their stuff on social media, liking their stuff on social media, giving them a compliment, and sharing their artwork and giving proper credit. Lastly, but the most important, Never stop creating and never stop inspiring. Until next time, keep drawing. I apologize to everyone out there if you found my jokes unbearable. Ha 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 ha.